welcome back. So in this video, we're going to learn everything about a basic MVC architecture. So as I said, MVC stands for Model, View and Controller. And it sounds confusing for a lot of beginners out there. So if you are also somebody who is hearing this term for the first time, then don't worry. It is really easy because in our everyday life, we use it pretty much. So I have made this thing simple with a uh, kind of a simple presentation with uh, some animations. So let's go for that and let's uh, watch those particular slides right now. So uh, if by the end of this uh, particular video, we are going to learn the basic workflow of a MVC architecture. All right, so let's go for the presentation right now. So guys, any engineering product has three key things. A user interface, a mechanism, and a source or a storage. So let's talk about this device. This is a mobile, right? And this is actually the screen of your mobile. And this is actually called an user interface. Because by using this screen, you are going to interact to the mobile or you are going to interact to the system. So it has some nice little buttons, uh, you know, by using what you can give inputs and all, right? So this is an user interface. Now your mobile also has its internal, right? So it has its motherboard, it has its chip, and all this, and all the circuit and all. So by by using this thing, uh, so this is actually the complex thing, right? We are not showing this thing to the user; we are hiding it. But this is actually the brain of the mobile. This is actually controlling everything. This is actually controlling the whole flow of the mobile. All right. And now the last thing. So this is called a storage. This is actually a memory chip, or you may also use your mobile internal memory to store some things, some data, some photo, or some music and all, right? So any engineering product has three key things, an user interface, uh, a mechanism, and a storage, right? Okay, so let's explore it a bit more. All right, so now let's talk about this. So this is a television. So this is actually the user interface. It has nice little buttons here by using what you can interact to the system or interact with this TV. Uh, so, uh, you know, it has these buttons by using what you can change the channel or you can volume it up or volume it down and, and you can do all these things. And it has this, uh, so this is called user interface, right? And it has this mechanism, right? So if you open your TV with a screwdriver, <laughs> you're gonna see this. So it has a CRT and all, all these circuits which controls the TV, isn't it? So this is actually the internal part of the TV. Um, you can say it's the brain of the TV using what the TV cannot run, right? So this is this mechanism. And every TV uh, needs this to run. <laughs> this is called a source. And this source is actually an antenna uh, which has all the channels. Suppose I want to uh, view a particular channel then I just need to set the frequency uh, over here uh, so that I can watch my favorite channel in the TV all right so now let's say here I want to watch the CNN channel okay so I, I set the channel off here by using this uh, user interface now a request has been generated and goes to the mechanism now this now this user interface said hey I don't know how to handle this but my user want to watch CNN channel so you handle it uh, so the mechanism said yes uh, I'm gonna handle this so what's this mechanism gonna do this is going to talk to the source that hey source uh, do you have CNN channel with you the source says yes boss I have every channels so you only want CNN channel so I'm gonna generate this channel for you and uh, give this channel to you right now so now the source is going to send this particular channel to mechanism now mechanism got this channel and it's going to send this particular channel to the user interface and finally your favorite channel cnn is going to be on your screen okay so this is how the thing goes right an user interface a mechanism and a source i told you right every engineering product has these three things right so now you must be wondering what's new in this I already know about it, right? So MVC is something that you already know about it, okay? So now let's explore it a bit more. All right, so now let's understand the complete flow over here. So this is the user interface. First, 
the flow comes here to the mechanism and then a request comes here like my user want to see the cnn channel now this mechanism doesn't have the channel now it's going to contact to the source that hey source give me the cnn channel now this source is going to give this particular channel to this mechanism and now this mechanism is going to transfer this cnn to your user interface and you are going to finally view your channel okay so now let's give some different name to our three different things okay so now this user interface can also be called as the view right this mechanism can also be called as the controller and this source can also be called as the model right so model view and controller all right all right so there is three different aspects that we comes to uh, know from this slide is this model is a kind of uh, kind of thing which is generating the data or storing the data so in this case this is generating the data right and this view is something that the end user uh, see or the end user views right uh, so this controller is somebody which is uh, working as a mediator between this view and the model because this model doesn't know the view and the view doesn't know the model they're all interacting by this controller so this controller is kind of managing the complete flow of the device and this is actually uh, you know sending the data to the view by pitching it from the model right so model doesn't know the view and the view doesn't know the model all right so keeping these things in mind let's go to the next slide so this is the one that you are looking for all right guys so this is actually the user interface uh, because uh, you know you can see this uh, nice little text box here it has a button it has an image of your chrome browser so this is basically a browser uh, by using this you know you can paste the data from the internet I mean, paste the website and all from the internet right so now let's say uh, I'm going to my Chrome browser and I'm typing in www.amargin.com slash laptops. So I'm basically interested uh, to uh, view the laptop. Okay, I'm a user. I don't know anything. I just type in the URL. Okay, so what's internally happened? A request has been generated and goes to the mechanism, right? So this is the complex thing and we don't show this thing to the user. So this is somehow the mechanism. I've written some code over here. Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll be coming back to this point, you know, uh, later in our course. So, a request has been generated and comes to the mechanism. Now, this mechanism doesn't have the data, right? So, this mechanism is going to connect to the storage. Okay, so this mechanism will go and ask the storage. Hey, storage, my user want to see the laptop data. So, can you provide that to me? Now, this storage have uh, it actually have uh, you know every kind of data the mobile data the laptop data and everything uh, it is a storage it's basically store everything but now the mechanism is particularly interested with the laptop data so what this storage is going to do it is going to pitch and load the laptop data only and the storage is going to send this laptop data to the mechanism so now this mechanism has the data so what this mechanism is going to do is just going to send this data to the user interface now this user interface now, its job and responsibility is uh, this is going to process this laptop data and this is going to view all this data in a designed fashion, right? Uh, just like this, in a structured, in a designed way, um, in a beautiful presentation, you can say, right? So, this user interface can be also called as the view, all right? So, this mechanism can also be called as the controller and the storage can be also be called as the model right so this stories could be anything right i mean it may be a file system it may be a database or it may be a list or anything something which stores the data okay so this is can be called as a model no worry so this view uh, will be uh, always uh, in jsp or in html or any other format right so you know the uses of html and jsp i assume so this jsp is something which contains the dynamic data and the HTML is contains something what the static data, the static which is always constant, and the dynamic data which is something which is always changing in your website. Okay, and this controller is uh, going to be a servlet in a web application. Okay, so this controller is always going to be a servlet in a web application. Okay, 
uh, when I say always, what I mean by that, I'm going to coming back to this point in our letter in my course. And this model is what I told you. This is just a system which stores the data or which generates the data, right? Uh, it may be a file system or maybe a database. All right. So this is how the thing goes. Okay. In a typical uh, MVC uh, architecture looks like this, right? The model, the view, and the controller. All right. So now is the most important thing let's talk about the big picture of it okay so this is something for what i'm doing all this drama okay so let's understand this thing very um uh, clearly okay so now let's say this is your web browser okay so what's happening so your web browser is sending a request to the controller servlet okay so whenever your web browser is sending a request the controller receiving it now your controller is basically a servlet okay so for additional data this controller is going to connect to the model okay so this con controller is just saying or this controller is just asking the model hey model just give me the data okay this is what i want so this model is just processing the data and give it back to the controller all right so now this controller has the data with it all right so now this controller what it is going to do this is going to send this data or process this data back to a view or jsp page right or a html page so all the data that controller receives from the model right now this is going to process this data to the view right now this view has all the data so this is actually going to uh, generate a complete look uh, that the user is going to see and now this is going to send it back to the web browser right so uh, in the end, the web browser is actually going to view the site uh, that this view is generating, right? Maybe a JSP page, maybe a HTML page, or maybe anything, right? So this is actually the complete uh, web architecture. I mean, the architecture of a MVC design pattern, right? So uh, we call it uh, MVC architecture or model view controller design pattern. So I assume you guys already have a good understanding about it and uh, just take a note of it because in our project, we are going to use it pretty much from now. So I think you get a kind of understanding with that and just break it down. Just make it really simple. Your controller is going to be your servlet. The view is going to be your JSP and the model is your database. And to get the data from the database, we can write a simple kind of class with JDBC code to paste the data from the database. You know about the result set, the queries and all, right? So it's very simple and very straightforward. So we're going to use it in my um, in my coming session, you know, we're going to write some code. But before that, I want to make you understand some of the best practices uh, that uh, you should follow whenever you are working with the MVC architecture. So in the next video, we're going to talk about some best practices uh, and uh, uh, why we need MVC in our web application. Also, we're going to have a look at that. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a nice day and bye-bye.